Hey guys, what's going on? Akil here. Uh, before we get into today's trading blog episode, just want to give you guys a quick recap of our trading day. I meant to talk about this in today's video, but you guys know I, as you can see, I do all of these live. They're unscripted, but uh, today was a pretty interesting day of trading. Active day um, before tomorrow's elections. Uh, four trades taken today. We had two winners. I had one loss and one break even. So um, a great example of managing a few different trades. I had a break even trade yesterday too on the pound dollar. And that's the key thing about trading. We had a good conversation today about win percentage and, uh, you know, uh, we had a little back and forth about what's considered a good and a bad win percentage. And that sparked a, a great conversation where we brought up some great examples like uh, the turtle traders who win at a very low rate. And uh, you guys saw me talk about this in a few videos back in the, in the trading blog video called um, Three Trading Myths Debunked. Uh, but the key with win percentage is, uh, it's not necessarily how much you win. It's, uh, it's about how much you win when you win, but it's about how much or how little I should say you give back when we lose. And the two trades that we had this week, uh, on the pound dollar and the dollar yen, those were two trades that came very, very, very close to winning and then started reversing. You guys have all been there, right? Where you take a trade and it makes its way almost down to your target level. And then before you know it, whoop. It reverses back and it stops you out and you take a big loss. Well, one thing that has helped me become a much better trader isn't my ability to find more winning trades, rather my ability to manage the losing trades um, or trades that would be lost that end up being break even. So this week has been a good example of two trades that I could have easily taken losses on that because of active trade management, I was able to get out for break even. And yeah, sometimes it's gonna bite you in the, bat, uh, in the butt. Sometimes you're gonna have that trade that comes back, stops you out for break even, and rolls down to hit your would-be targets. But I would much rather avoid a loss uh, than gain a win. I know that doesn't make sense right now, but if you stay with my videos for long enough, I promise it will. Uh, so that's my quick recap. Let's get to the originally intended trading blog episode for today. Hey traders, Kill Stokes here. Welcome to another episode of the trading blog. You see you got a nice little view behind me today. Um, I just came out of a, a meeting uh, talking about evaluations. Uh, we do two types of evaluations. We do a self-evaluation. We do it at the beginning of the year, um, kind of putting out expectations. And then uh, I review again at the end of the year, kind of comparing the two and, and, and trying to see what we could do better or what we could do worse. And um, the topic got me really thinking about a few things. Uh, got me thinking about when I first got into trading, one of the first things that uh, my mentor gave me was a sheet called our goal setting uh, checklist, creating your perfect life. Now, I've never, never been really big on setting goals or everything like that, I, especially quantitative goals. Um, I think as a trader that can sometimes get you in a lot of trouble because you start shooting for certain marks and, and you start deviating from the plan. You know how we always talk about process over outcome. Uh, but I do think an evaluation is key, not only of your trading, but of your life. And again, here's a little look at the sheet we had. And I got the sheet on day one. And again, it's called Creating Your Perfect Life. And I want to really kind of run through this with you. And it started off by just thinking about if you had no kind of restraints, right? If you had um, nothing holding your back, holding you back, what would your perfect life be like? Um, you know, what are your goals uh, as far as uh, financial goals go? What are your contribution goals? What do you want to donate? What places would you like to go to? What would you like to buy? Um, anything like that. Where do you want to be professionally? Do you want to be a CEO? Do you want to be a manager? What not? Uh, toys, adventures. Do you want the big fancy car, a, a Learjet, something like that? Um, it starts off by just writing down everything you would want to achieve in life. So starting big, 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 big picture. And it talks a little bit more into that, but the meat of it really goes into the personal goals and the personal evaluation. So there are personal goals such as what would you like to learn? What would you like to be? What, what would you like your friends to be like? Do you want to conquer a certain fear? Um, but the very interesting part is when you do the evaluation and the evaluation of yourself comes on a few different levels, right? You can see a little bit of the list right here. It wants you to rate yourself and really grade yourself physically, 
mentally, emotionally, attractiveness, relationships, living environment, socially, spiritually, career, and financially. And you do this on a few different platforms. So you're going to rate yourself three ways or two ways. You're going to rate yourself how were you in all of these categories five years ago and why, right? Why do you feel like you deserve that rating? And then what do you rate yourself now and why do you feel that rating? And it's very interesting when you put, uh, when you compare those two, because it, it really gives a harsh reality check, especially if your ratings aren't as um, good as you want them to be. You know, for example, if you physically, if you rated yourself a five because ah, you're not bad, but maybe you let yourself go a little bit after college, um, you're, you're 15 pounds overweight, and then you come back and you do the evaluation now, and you give yourself a four because now instead of 15 pounds overweight, you're 20 pounds overweight. It gives kind of a harsh reality check of, hey, I'm going the wrong way. Or five years have passed, which is a massive amount of time, and I really haven't improved that much. The third part of the rating is where do you want to see yourself five years from now? So you have five years behind in the past, present, and then five years from now. And it really gives urgency to what you're trying to do. I remember when I first filled this out, um, and actually, my five years just passed a couple of years ago. I need to redo it. Uh, but when I first filled it out, um, it, it, it kind of hit me that I am nowhere where I want to be in life. I graduated college, and that was kind of a big milestone for me. I thought that was big. Um, and when I reevaluated myself, I, I really didn't move that much. And that was the big fear factor, right? That was the big thing that scared me into taking the jump into trading. I wanted to do something with my life. I was making about $30,000 working three jobs and that was fine. You know, I was 20 something years old. I've never seen that much money in my life consistencies consistently. So I was fine. Um, but when I started thinking about five years down the road, you know, when I have a family, a, a wife, um, kids, a, a house, mortgages and stuff like that, um, where is that 30,000 going to get me? Am I in a job that I can, you know, work my way up to a higher position or am I going to look back in five years and say, wow, I'm in the exact same space as I am now? And that really scared the mess out of me. Um, that, that, that was, I, I've always had big goals of being a success and being kind of stagnant, being stuck in the same place without really achieving anything was really, really scary because I knew the older I get, the older I got, the, the harder it would be to kind of change my life. And it was at that moment where I really started taking my trading a lot more seriously. I saw that as the avenue. And trading doesn't have to be your avenue. It could be anything else. But I saw that as the avenue to kind of build what I want to build out of life. And when I finished the sheet, it was like, hey, Akil, you better get going now um, or else you're going to get left behind. You know, so I challenge you to do that evaluation of your life. Again, do evaluate yourself. I'll read the categories one more time. It's going to be physically, mentally, emotionally attractiveness, relationships, living environment, socially, spiritually, career-wise, and financially, right? I challenge you to rate yourself on those, uh, those categories about how you saw yourself five years ago, and then give an honest rating of how you see yourself there present time, and then do one more rating of where you want to be in 10 years or in five years from now. And then ask yourself the question, well, if I want to go from here to there, what do I need to achieve? When do I need to start it? And, you know, hopefully that's the kick in the butt that it's going to take to get you on the right path. So I appreciate you guys joining me for another episode. You guys have been fantastic. Uh, you know that I've made a goal to kind of spread a certain message here. And you guys have been relaying it and sharing that message with a lot of new followers, which is fantastic. Also, if you get a chance, guys, make sure you read the comment section of these videos. Um, there have been a lot of amazing comments there that if you're someone that's struggling to get a grasp over your, your, your goals or a grasp over your trading, you want to pay attention to what our traders are writing in the comment section. There's a lot of stories that are very motivational and inspirational. So take a few seconds, do something positive, right? And uh, read the comments from traders other than myself, other real traders out there that are lending advice for maybe mistakes that they have made in hopes to, to help you improve. Um, so... Appreciate it as always. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day here. Beautiful, beautiful day. Just look at that. Amazing view. Um, until next time, plan your trade, trade your plan. Take care, traders.
All right, traders, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please show us by hitting that like button and subscribing by clicking the button right below. If you're looking for more educational content, feel free to head over to our tradeempower.com website, or also take a look, and you'll see more videos available for you. Have a good one.